boom what's up you guys so byron rogers protected by nature and by trade you guys um hopefully have seen me out there but nonetheless this is executive protection essentials and what i want to talk to you guys about this is pre pre uh detail work we're going to be digging into right now right so you've got a client coming in you've got an itinerary and now what do you do before that client touches down right the morning of before that or the night before that client touches down Right, we're going to talk a little bit about advanced work, preparing yourself to receive and be ready. One of the first things you got to look at is, you know, your route. You got to understand what you're going to be doing on that itinerary. And you want to see it at least the night before or the day of. There are multiple different types of situations you find yourself in when you're doing this work. Um, one situation is simply that you're working a client that you're used to working and uh, you understand their pattern of life, uh, you know the locations, you understand the social baselines of all the environments you're going to be going into. So you can get away with navigating that itinerary with less oversight. On a situation like we're looking at today, uh, you've got a client that's coming in in the afternoon. They want to hit a few different stops. They're going to land at the FBO. They're going to go do a little bit of shopping. Uh, from shopping, they're going to go to their hotel, uh, change, get ready for the evening. From the hotel, they then go to the venue, do their event, and then fly out a different FBO. It's kind of a standard itinerary we're going to work, and I want to kind of just show you guys how we work that, right? One of the primary things you want to do when you get an itinerary like that is you want to go to every single one of those stops. Now, in training day, uh, which is the next level up, I dig into all the different things I'm going to mention here. But for EP Essentials, I want to kind of walk you guys through what it is we do, how we do it, where I'm, how I think about addressing these equations and doing this work so that you can kind of get an overview and then you can construct things in a way that's most valuable and effective to you and what you're doing, right? So one of the first things you want to do once you get that task, that itinerary, is go to every single location on that itinerary. This is basic advanced work. Like I said, with a different client situation and different client package, you don't get to do this. They just want to go somewhere. And in this itinerary, you still may run into that same problem. But what the advanced work does is it helps you know what every single event looks like. It helps you establish a POC, a point of contact at every single one of those locations. Uh, it helps you establish medical and first responder assets in and around those locations, right? So you know inside that building for the venue where your medical assets are, if you need an AED, a first aid kit, etc. right? You know how to communicate with the house, you've got your, your point of contact established. You're able to master those environments before you go back to those environments. And when the people who are in charge of those environments say the house, we like to call them, interact with you, it's not your first time interacting with them. This is something I do whether my company's paying me to do advanced work or not, because at the end of the day, if the ball does end up on the ground and there's a fumble, you're gonna be the guy who's there and the guy who uh, is going to have to recover it. So solid advanced work is a must. Like I said, in training day, we teach you three different types of advances, pocket advances, operation orders, and the advance that you actually will give to your client. As they're flying in, the one pager with just what they need to know as they're flying in when you're getting ready to receive them. But the morning of or the night before, you want to go to every single location. You want to, at those locations, you want to understand a few things, where the bathrooms are. Bathrooms being the one question you can, you can put together a 19 page uh, advance report. It can be the most beautiful piece of work ever. But the one question that will make you look incompetent like this is, hey, where are the bathrooms? <laughs> and if you don't have that dialed, don't overlook it while you look at all the security centric things. We're here to help these clients live uh, a safer pattern of life and optimize them um, on the path of their mission. And the bathroom's a big part of that. So comfort is a consideration. So you get to these locations. What are you looking for? You're looking for ingress, egress. You're looking for multiple drops, an alpha drop, a primary drop, a bravo drop, a secondary drop. Uh, you're looking for any medical equipment they may have on location. You're shoring up your positioning with the client, say it's a lunch spot. Where are you sitting? Where are they sitting? Do you have visual mastery? Um, 
what's the path of tra travel in and out of that venue, uh, different things like that. And then you wanna shore up who are your medical assets in the area, who do you wanna be in contact with in the area, uh, what's the closest police department here that I can call, what is the number for dispatch so I don't have to dial 911, where's my nearest emergency facility that I can take uh, the client straight to and drive in, what level of care uh, do they render there? These are the types of things that you wanna make sure you get the day before your client lands. And this is micro and macro. If you're doing an advance on a country, these are also considerations. If you're doing an advance on a one to two, three day itinerary, this is how you do it. Like I said, in training day, we go much deeper into these things, but these are just some considerations. Another thing that's big on your advance day is what does the road look like as close to the time when you're going to be driving that principal for that client. Like driving this the day before, before they land, lets me know where construction is, lets me know um, where any friction points are, and then also establishing a primary and secondary route to as many locations as possible. And if I can't establish a primary and secondary route uh, when it comes to route selection, then I need to know that there's going to be significant bottleneck that I need to pay attention to that me and the other dudes, <laughs> the bad guys, um, whoever the opposition is, potentially depending on your level of risk and threat, those people also will know exists. So those choke points or time you're going to be a little bit more dialed up, you're going to be paying closer attention and as you go through there you're going to be doing a lot more um, surveillance detection in the way that you're looking at your environment and the way you position yourself as you move through that environment. So. These are just some considerations, man, uh, for EP Essentials moving into your day. Boom. Boom. So I hope you guys are enjoying the Executive Protection Essentials product. Um, but I've got to let you know this is only the beginning. In training day, I go way deeper into every single thing we touch on in the Essentials as well as a number of additional topics. Um, training day is where kind of the next level of what it is we offer at the league. This is where you enter the League of Executive Protection Specialists. This is where you get access to the network, um, all the different agents on the platform that help you find jobs that you do your career with. This is where you get access to the ongoing um, meetings that I'm having, Zoom meetings, mentoring, uh, contributing to each other uh, twice per month. So, you know, you pay, get in, and then twice per month, you're getting ongoing mentoring and you're getting to do your career with a whole group of people. I'm building your network. I'm networking for you. It's amazing. Um, and then obviously upgrading into any of the on-ground curriculum we have. We have a number of amazing courses, everything from hard skills intensives to immersion courses, medical, driving, all the stuff that it will take for you to be recognized as a specialist in the executive protection industry become an executive protection specialist and get the industry to react to you and bring opportunities to you as well as we give you the relationships you'll need to have a meaningful and successful career in this industry specifically crafted for you guys to win, succeed, and for us all to win and succeed together. So if you're enjoying this product, upgrade and let's do more together. Let's get in each other's lives. Let's achieve success in the private security industry together.